adjourn as county board of county commissioners and reconvene as board of finance. I motion that we uh, adjourn as uh, county commission board and reconvene as board of finance. Second. How do you vote? Yes, sir. Jack? Yes. Robert? Yes. Mike? Yes. Motion carries. A monthly voucher report.
distributed on April 19th. Um, so the portion from the CCA is $19,009.49 for the CCA protest, for 13 and 14. So that, that amount basically um, is included with uh, April's distribution, which brought it to the 23000 That was money that you had to? In, in, in a suspense fund. That's the money that was in the suspense fund.
that's their bargaining tactic or, or, or not, but um, that, that's where we're at right now. Well, I thought we were supposed to go by, you know, how much profit they made or, or lot profit and loss or, you know. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman. End of the year. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Chairman and members of the commission, um, the, the contract calls for the $6,969.33 a month, which equals approximately $84,000 a year. The contract also says that we would receive 1% of the gross revenue that's above the $84,000 um, uh, each year. And they pay that, they pay it once or twice a year. Once, once a year, we get a check and it's been somewhere in the area of 20, more than 20 billion. Yeah, more than that. But we do we do get that from them, and that has stayed the same as well. Uh, no, the contract has never been changed. It was a 20-year contract. It had. I think they could go about another 10 or 12 years on on a rollover. And now they've just been going month to month because, quite frankly, the contract's out. They've been going month to month for about five years. And uh, so, so that's so, uh, you know, they were interested two years ago in, in buying that property and buying a piece of the property on the parking lot. And, uh, and, I, and I have uh, told them that there will be an interest on our part, suggested a price, and, uh, uh, and then we're going to wait to hear back from them. I don't want to run Smiths off. They're a, they're a union type of, of uh, industry, and, and yeah, maybe another store will come in, but those people would have to leave grants because in order to stay with that company. As far as I understand, I'm not sure. That, you know, I definitely don't want to <coughs> ruffle my old feathers. Mr. Smith. Mr. Chairman, it's not our intention to ruffle feathers or, 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 or run them out of town, but I, I think the facts are the contract is, is expired, and we're now getting ready to do 30. We're doing $13 million worth of improvement. Let me tell you something. My opinion, anyway, is uh, their gross is getting ready to take off here just about 217. Once the county gets moved up there and the whole deal, and uh, the right's right and wrong, wrong, you know. And, yeah. That rent is a little bit too reasonable, I'd say. I think it has to be raised or uh, preferably. And Mr. Chairman, I to. Mr. Chairman, Commissioner Simpson, I, I agree, and um, uh, so. they uh, uh, we're not. We really don't. Like, I'm like I said, we're not in a position to run them off. But I did want you to know that it, 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 it's a business decision going on there. I sent them the entire plans and, and showed them where we're going to spend in the area of 13 million dollars to fix the entire complex, including the parking lot area, and said, you know, we'd like for you to get on board. This is a significant do it. And we're about ready to spend in excess of $325,000 to re-roof that building, because that is our building. And it has been leaking bad. And so we're going to do that at our cost, which is part of the contract. And so um, I, I just don't want you to be caught by surprise if they, you know, if they were to want to stop talking and pull the plug. I don't think they would, um, but but uh, that, that, that's where we're at right now. Now, obviously, if the commission wants me to go back to them and say, we're signing a new contract and you can pay the same rent you've been paying for 37 years, and then that's certainly what we're doing. Go ahead. You know, it, it's my opinion that um, I think that would be a good idea to go ahead and maybe look at an increase. But that increase which should be going to pay for any improvements. So we don't have to take this out of being the landlord for that area. We don't have to take it out of our county budget to pay for any improvements like new lighting, new um, improvements to a parking lot, striping, um, just about everything that goes to making sure that the image of that area is going to be a proper and a good image. Signage especially, I think we need to uh, have more signage there. But I think they would be more acceptable to the increase if they know that it's going right back into that same area that they they have the business in. Commissioner, uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioner Felipe, I, I wouldn't argue that, but, but I'm not sure that they would have any more incentive because right now, by contract, we own the building. 
by law or the landlord, no matter what they pay. So if we were to tell them we were going to double it, but half of that is going to go in to a fund for upkeep and maintenance, their response is probably, who cares? You have to pay us anyway. <laughs> and and, and uh, now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't put us in a bind of being caught, you know, uh, with pay, having to pay money, but, um, but we have to keep up the maintenance and the building um, by contract, and that's basically any landlord with a tenant. Well, that's what I mean. I think we're, we're probably going to see more signage, right? mainly, mainly for some of those um, programs and um, operations that will be housed other than Smith's. In those other areas, it would be nice to be able to buy some um, good signage and things like that for that to expose that to our community where these officers are now located at. I think it, image is always always uh, important in any business endeavor. So I think having a source of additional funds to, to uh, pay for those things would be helpful. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Commissioner Fleet Bay agree. Uh, the architect has been instructed as he draws the plans that um, signage is to be included in the project itself. And that way we're at least have at least have it getting started now. There will be upkeep and maintenance on that as well and landscaping that we're doing and, and, and it's important that maybe not at the beginning, but we'll have some funds stored away somewhere to pay for because signs break down or there's vandalism. Uh, they just get old bottles, trip break. Absolutely. You know, we have the funds to put in trips. Yeah, that whole thing. Freezers. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice not having to budget right. additional funds in our county budget. Have you just met with a whole <coughs> Simpson have met with them just over the phone, uh, have offered to come to Utah, have asked them when he's in the state to uh, to uh, to give me a call and I'd come meet him wherever, wherever he'd like. And, um, <coughs> we haven't been able to meet face to face, but at this point, I didn't think face to face was necessary until they were ready to say, yeah, let's talk, what is our rent going to be, or let's talk what the sale going to be. But, and also, Commissioner, they, they centralize all of their real estate dealings. They centralize all of their administrative offices in Utah. So there's not like someone in New Mexico I can go talk to about real estate. They're, they're all have, in Utah. Maybe we have to invite them to a meeting. Should I meet them halfway in Las Vegas? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, in Vegas. I just wanted to. Okay. <laughs> but I think that's a good suggestion to have a task force to kind of look at. Yeah. Because the facet's going to have to, gonna have to be done, you know, to, to match the rest of the construction that's going to be going on. Well, Mr. Chairman, there's going to be some work involved there, but the landscaping, um, uh, the landscaping will landscape that away, and, and so they, they're they're so if it's not the Mark. facade is not done, then 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 it would not take away from the building itself. Or if they buy it. Or if, absolutely. Jack, is that? Uh, rent that you proposed, is that actually in line with, with what it is to this day? Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, when, when, yes, the answer is yes. When you, when you looked at it, you looked at what the other shopping centers are getting by square foot, um, it, it is definitely in line. And, and probably uh, probably a little bit lower. Um, if, uh, with checking with different people in town um, that, that actually do collect that rent. Um, I did not give them a firm number. I just told them that they should expect probably somewhere around at least double because of that, knowing that we, we need to break that down by square footage. Yeah, uh, yeah, if it's in line there, I'm in agreement with that. I'm just surprised that that you know, hasn't had an increase in 37 years. <coughs> you know, you, usually everything goes up every year. So uh, the cost
Mr. Chairman and Commissioner, I, that certainly can be a, an item of discussion, but if we, if we continue to own the bill, the concern would be that the tenant would not utilize their own funds to keep the building up to level. And, and if they don't, as the owner, it would still fall back on us. Um, we, uh, and, and, but that is one item that is certainly we want to negotiate with them on and say, if you want to just keep this rent the same, then we've got to have something that, that maybe they put into, uh, according to what Commissioner Felipe said, something in that area where they pay us rent at this amount, but they put $5,000 a month in a fund that, that we're keep, and it can only be spent on upkeep and maintenance. Now, and, and that's all part of the negotiation with them, but that's certainly something we can talk to them about. I mean, we, we can set the standards on what they have to upkeep and how they got to upkeep it. I mean, we're, we're the landlords, right? You know, like we can, you know, we don't have to tell them, okay, you guys do what you guys think needs to be done. I mean, we can say, you know, this is what you have to do. I mean, that's, that's, <coughs> I understand. Thank you. Financial statement. Yes. 